Hello, good morning and welcome to New Forest Morse. I hope everyone's had a wonderful weekend. It's Monday morning, we're in the snake pit and uh, Jared and I had some fantastic news this morning. A bonus bit of news that we weren't expecting. So Jared, what was the bonus news? Uh, we got more than we bargained for with our um, spider clown, uh, yeah. spider bananas. So we thought we were producing het clowns, but it turns out that the girl that we bought is actually het clown herself because uh, one of the babies have come out of their eggs and we're going to show you exactly what a banana clown spider clown looks like and just get a look at this little fella here I mean isn't it beautiful Jared can you see the head stamp and the pattern absolutely beautiful so we've produced our first ever clown here at New Forest Morphs and we've done it without realizing it <laughs> because the girl that we bought from Southampton Reptiles one of the first snakes that Emily and I bought and Jared said to me when we bought it, do you remember you said, because it's got the spider gene, you weren't too pleased, um, but. No, I think they're beautiful. I yeah. just think it's hard nowadays with spider. There's a lot of controversy about it. Yeah. So just look how the spider and clown interact beautifully together. An absolute peach of a snake, Jared. Isn't it just lovely? Yeah. And I think there's one that's still, oops, sorry. There's one that's still in the. What looks even egg prettier. It might even be even nicer. Yeah. So it's, it's a lovely animal, Jared, and um, I'm going to just open her up a little bit and have a look at her. But, and this is without, this is, hasn't shed out yet, so when that sheds out, I think we're going to have an absolutely stunning, stunning animal. Isn't it beautiful, Jared? And they're really chunky. They must be about 75 grams. Yeah, they're big eggs. Yeah, so she's done us really well. And Joker was the father, and we'll show you the mum later. Let's just put that one back. There's still two that haven't come out of the eggs yeah. yet. So. Just tell me on those patterns. Look at the beautiful patterns on its neck, Jared. I think the spider clown bananas are beautiful, Jared. And then this one here, you can see got similar patterns. Can you see the lovely colours coming in? The banana colours are coming in. So you've got lovely reds in there. It really does brighten up the snake, I think. This one, we're not 100% certain what it is because we were planning to shoot for the Powerball, but I think it's... Um... It's definitely cinnamon, definitely lesser. Yeah. We'll see what else is in it when it comes out. But... I mean, there's the pattern to it, but... Yeah, we'll give it a That's bit more That's from a different time. clutch, by the way. Yeah, it's not from the same clutch. We had clutch 9 and 10. So, anyway, that's really excellent news. We'll get them back in the incubator. I'll show you the mum. Yeah, have a look at So, the this mom. is the mum. The bananas. See it there. Yeah. So, we need to relabel her jar as a heck clan. We've already done it. Well done. Well done. There we go. Banana spider heck clown. Um, we've got a clown clutch coming in about three or four days, Jack. I think on Thursday we'll probably cut some more eggs. So we've got five eggs to cut on Thursday, which is the lesser, uh, I think she's um, trying head to work clown. out. Butter Sorry. head clown. So it's a butter head clowns, head clown we put to Joker. So we've got a chance of producing some butter clowns, which I think are gorgeous looking. And I'll give you an example of a butter clown so you can see what we're shooting for. Um, now on the plan project scale, there's a lot of really interesting things going on because this one here is a Enchi lesser clown. This one's just lesser. Is that one a lesser clown? So Calissa, who's a lesser clown. If we have a look at her. She's beautiful, isn't she? And she's doing really good. Um, progressing really well. All the girls that we moved up are actually putting on a lot of weight, Jad. So I weighed them over the weekend, and they're not that far away from being that magical 1500. If you put Enchi into the lesser clown, you get this looking snake here, which, wow, she needs a good clean out, this one does. I need to give her a clean out, but there she is. See what the Enchi does to the lesser clown, Jad? Yeah. It's lovely, isn't she? And yeah, she's actually... Pastel with it. Yeah, uh, 1300 grams, that one. So we have to give her a, remind me to give her a clean out, Jad. Mm -hmm. So the other good news is before we go on to um, the shedding of one of our hatchlings, uh, we've got two other progressive animals that have actually got to size and our stud male for this coming year, which is Hercules, has just moved up to his adult rack. And there he is, Jared. So he's 850 grams and he's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful animal. So he's going to be put to three of our clown girls. And he's a pastel, enchi, leopard, lesser clown. Yeah, 
a lot of genes going in there. It's the leopard that which really interests us as well as the giant and uh, the two genes that we want to get in. So now the females that we're going to put them to are now we were toying with different ideas when we've got mango who's our pasta our lesser clown if you have a look at her jared she's now weighing in at 1700 grams so in the next couple of months when the new breeding season starts she should be ready to go to the new stud boy she's beautiful she's going to be lovely and we've also got some other clowns that have come up to size xena she's weighing in quite a lot of weight as well now we're holding her back for her husband, which is Yaz Yazoo. She's 1,790. So she's a plain clown girl, but beautiful. she's carrying the albino. She's 100% het for albino. She's beautiful, so she'll be ready to go. And we've also got your girl, Calypso, who's up for breeding size. So this has been, a, what, nearly two years you've had her, Jared? Yeah. So she's nearly three years old. Just take a look at this girl here. She's a pastel clown, but she's 100% hip pied. And guess what her weight is, Jared? 16? Yeah, she's close to 1700 grams. So she'll be part of our new breeding projects in, for this new season coming. So, and she's got in her 100% hip pied. So we're talking about maybe making, we could put Hercules to her and produce some amazing clowns. But we're going to take a longer term view on this, aren't we, Jaya? So because she's 100% hep for pied, and she's also um, got the potential to produce uh, pieds, visual pie, if we put Bowser to her, so this is the animal that we're thinking about putting to him, he's up to 1,300, 1,400 grams. Yeah, we want to do dream school so we can hit pied, the double hep, clown and lavender. So we put him to her, we'll end up with visual pieds, double hep, lavender, uh, clowns and there'll be pastel as well and pastel. it's a pastel as well which is true so that's what we're thinking there so there's a lot of really interesting things going on our calico girl Enchi fire pastel girl Jared's first favorite snake that we got two years ago she's now getting close to 1200 grams Jared you can see how beautiful she is yeah so she's her whites are really coming through now they used to be bright pink she's a fire pastel Enchi calico so we'll probably, what are you going to think, what would you, who would you put to her? Still haven't made my mind up yet. It'd be lovely to get that into clown, wouldn't it? Potentially, yeah. Yeah. Um, so let me just show you the other one that we've moved up. Besides we've moved in, moving up Hercules, we've also moved up Silky. Now Silky is a uh, Mojave 100% Ultra male. And let's hit Ultra. Yeah, 100% hit. And she's weighing 850 grams, Jared lovely snake and both of them have transitioned really well into their new rubs I think they really do like the hides Jared and they do like the space so we're really pleased and we're moving a lot of our bigger snakes into the 50 litre rubs and we've got another four or five to move up which will free up more space there's so many of our grow ons that have almost stuck that 850 mark that we've got to free up space move the bigger animals into the big rubs and that will then open that up so the other good news is our leopard Albino, our first albino of the season, or ever, has shed out. And we're going to show you this one. Is it a boy or girl, Jared? It's a boy. It's a boy. Little male, 100% hep pied. And we haven't got a name for it yet, have we? But it's shed out. You should put him in the light. Yeah. Put him in the light box. He's very well. small. He came out of a boob egg. There he is. Really pretty. Now that's a leopard albino. So we managed to get a visual out from the mum's a visual. The mum's a leopard albino. And she's 50% het for pied. This one is 100% het for pied. So is a boy or girl, would you say? Boy. Boy. So we can grow them up in the next 12 months and we can plug them into our pied projects and produce a lot of het albinos, Jared. Yeah. It's fantastic, isn't he? So really, he. Now, his father was Cookie, who's a visual pied, and he's 100% het for albino. So now we've got a visual uh, albino, 100% het for pied. So it's really two powerful males there. <laughs> and you can see uh, yeah, Yahoo talking with the albinos. This guy here is a albino 100% clown. Just look how big he's getting, Jared. 
beautiful animal. He weighs nearly 600 grams, so he's not far off breeding. So it's really good news. We're feeding them um, Maltese and we're feeding them wieners. rat wieners. Jazz doing a great job feeding them. So we carry on feeding him. If he's going to get up to say 800 grams in the next couple of months, which hopefully he will, we'll put him to um, Money Penny. Uh, not money penny to um, uh, Zena. So this is his wife to be. So she's. We we'll get albino clowns. If we get some albino clowns, that'd be fantastic, Jared. Really, really good. And we've got a couple that we're breeding at the moment. Um, we've got the panda pie project that we're working on. Sienna went l late last year for us. She gave us a nice clutch of eggs in September. While she. Oh, yeah. oh look, they're locked. They're about to. Oh, sorry about that. Just just to have them. Fantastic news. We'll let them get on with their business, Jared. <laughs> That's really good news. But there's a potential there for a huge clutch of eggs. And then Electra, which is our uh, super gravel. I've put these two together, which is the ivory boy. And they're super pastel ivory. Yeah. To super gravel. She just wants to eat liquor. She's she's more concerned about building her body weight than she is about breeding at the moment. Mind you, there is a bit of blood on him. So someone's wiped, she may have wiped on him. Can you see that? See the little blood mark on his white yeah. body? So she, I was studying the other day, the um, females actually, they open up their glands to encourage the boy to come on. They've got these special glands that stimulate the boy. And she drags them around everything <laughs> and leaves a blood trail. So I thought it was the boys that leave the blood trail, but both animals can leave a blood trail. And the female wags her tail to get get excited. and. We've captured that before, so it's a lovely um, breeding scene. And I'll end the video with a couple of things. We've got the um, leopard albino. I was going to show you the mother in here. And so you can see that each leopard albino can have slightly different patterns. But since she gave us the eggs two months ago, Jay, just look how well she looks. She's eating really well. She's almost back to her pre laid condition. Beautiful animal. So there's a little update on the mother, and her name is Daisy, and that's Emily's first ever snake I bought with her uh, three second. years. Was it her second? Yeah. Kylo was first. Kylo was the first. So we had three. We bought Cleo, Daisy. Cleo was the mother of the beautiful clowns. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a real bonus for us. So we're almost ready to run the competition on the 700 subscriber giveaway. We'll probably do that later in the week, so maybe Thursday, Jared. And also we're going to have uh, an egg clutch uh, to cut and I think there's potential for some more clowns as I said. So that will be five eggs that we'll um, hopefully cut on Thursday. So thank you so much for joining us and feel free to put any comments on the video and like and subscribe, share with your friends and we shall catch you on Thursday. Bye bye for now.